Let me see if I can save you some money and keep you from some health problems. Have you ever found yourself standing in the health food section of your local market, staring almost trance-like at the vitamin and mineral bottles? With fancy packaging and enticing claims, it's pretty confusing, isn't it? Which ones are the best? Are they all the same? Does it really matter? Well, let me tell you, it really does matter, and it matters in a big way. First, what's so important about minerals? What do they actually do for us? Minerals are elements that are essential to the health and well-being and life of human beings. There's approximately six dozen minerals that are necessary for everything from bones to hair to nails, enzyme and hormone activity, chemical and neurologic reactions, and the regulation of every other physiologic function. A mineral deficiency can cause multiple problems and disease, and in an extreme case, even death. Second, are all minerals the same? Do both organic and inorganic minerals, are they as usable in the human body? To simplify, let me just say that inorganic minerals are those dissolved in water and are in our soils, whereas organic minerals are those found in plants and the animals that consume those plants. There's evidence that indicates that minerals have to have life in order to give life. To be usable, the minerals have to pass through the organic chain and be imbued with carbon, trace elements, and enzymes. I'm convinced that inorganic minerals are really of little value nutritionally and may even be harmful. Let me give you an example. You can take a nail that is made out of pure iron and you can grind it into the most fine powder possible, put it in a capsule and take it with a glass of water and you will get almost no usable iron. Conversely, you can take that same nail, throw it in the ground and let it decompose and return to the soil. And then if you eat the plant that grows over it, you will get the usable iron. This same process is the, the same with all other minerals. Let me give you an example of calcium. Bone meal, dolomite, carbon, uh, calcium carbonate are all forms of calcium. But they're in inorganic rock and they have impurities in them like lead. Have you ever had the sprinklers uh, on your lawn spray your car on a hot day? When it dried, did you see those deposits of uh, rock that had come out on your car and they're very difficult to remove? Well, it's the same in the body, but these are actually done in your kidneys and in your joints. If you've never had a kidney stone, count your blessings, but filter your water and stop taking inorganic supplements. Again, like other minerals, calcium must go through the organic chain in order for it to be usable. Cattle eat the grasses and then pass on the calcium in, in their milk products. So get calcium from your foods, from green leafy vegetables, from nuts and from seeds. And by the way, almond milk and coconut milk have 50% more usable calcium than dairy milk does without any of the hormones and antibiotics.